Hi, my name is Jeff Malkin. I am the president at Encoding.com. We are the world's largest video encoding service. Since launch in September of 2008, uh, we've really started to gain momentum in the last six to nine months. It's, it's really, you know, if, if we're at the bottom of the curve, but we're on the curve. Um, we're now encoding 30,000 videos a day on average. Uh, on multiple occasions, we've done over 100,000 in a 24 hour period. We um, have encoded 5 million files now. And we've expanded our features 100% uh, based on customer requests, customer demands. So we've been able to um, grow out the platform very well in the last you know, year and a half as well. Before we came along, if you were a platform or a uh, video publisher and had high volume video encoding requirements, you would most likely have invested um, a lot of money in CapEx in infrastructure and a team to manage your video encoding requirements in-house. What we've done is we approach the market with an encoding software as a service that leverages cloud infrastructure. And by approaching the market this way, we solve some critical pain points for our customers. Number one is this notion of instant and infinite scalability. No longer do you have to worry about um, making these large investments up front or being able to predict your video encoding requirements. Uh, there's the notion of having to manage this in-house. I mean, as many of us know in the video encoding space, uh, video encoding is somewhat of a black art. It's, uh, there's lots of errors that occur. It's, it's, it's not really a science yet. Um, and by outsourcing it to an automated platform such as encoding.com, um, it's our job to manage that effort for you and, as you know, stay on top of the latest and greatest as the technologies continue to evolve. Whether it's Apple's HTTP live streaming, uh, whether it's Google's open sourcing of their codec, which will be announced soon, um, adaptive bitrate streaming, you name it, it continues to evolve. So um, our job is to make sure that you don't have to worry about it. Well, we're serving a lot of customers, large and small. Uh, on the larger scale, uh, we work with lots of companies like MTV, WebMD, Car Domain, Giant Realm, Cisco, Vizar. You know, what's exciting to me about our roster of customers is not so much who the brands are, but the various use cases of how our customers are utilizing Encoding.com. You have premium media companies, lots of user-generated video companies, video platforms, uh, online education, uh, news sites as well. So that, to me, that's what's really most exciting right now. My partner, Greg Heil, is the mastermind behind Encoding.com. This is, this is his baby. Uh, this is his idea. And uh, for him, it was born out of necessity, the mother of all invention. Uh, Greg was running a software development site fo uh, company focused on building user-generated video sites and managing them, and kept coming across the same issue of the various sites having different video encoding requirements, ingesting heterogeneous content as user-generated video sites do, and looking at the market for solution only came across expensive infrastructure that he would have to have managed in-house and thought that there was a great gap in the market to fill. So that's where this company was born from. We did secure financing, a Series A financing, uh, actually closed on December 31st. Um, I say that because uh, I think emotionally I just wanted to get it done in 2009 and move on. Uh, we raised uh, a million and a half. We kept it small on purpose um, by design and it was led by a firm in New York called Metamorphic Ventures. A uh, great group of guys that have been very helpful and uh, we also were able to, um, behind Metamorphic, bring in some um, very accomplished angels. Uh, Pat Condon, co-founder of Rackspace, John Engates, the CTO of Rackspace, Dave Morgan, the CEO of Simul Media and former CEO of Dakota, Alan Morgan, venture partner from Mayfield. So we've got a great group of investors around the table. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's an imperative that we remain lean uh, and run lean. So we've been fortunate to be able to grow our business to over 500 customers uh, without having to spend uh, dollars on marketing and advertising, but we now are looking to use much of that financing to help grow the business. Uh, we have a business model that works very well. It's a pay-as-you-go model where customers um, pay us by the gigabyte. Uh, we, our value proposition is resonating very well with our customer base. We know who our uh, sweet spot is for our value proposition. So we're looking to use this funding to, to really, you know, uh, on marketing and advertising dollars to help grow the business. Well, we find that staying hyper-focused on video encoding alone um, takes a tremendous amount of effort and discipline. Um, we uh, ex plan on, of course, adding more formats. Um, we may move into live encoding. We may move into syndication. But again, we remain 100% customer-driven. And it's really what our customers are asking for 
they ask for more deeper features related to video encoding, we build them. Um, primarily, we've been focused on you know, capacity, uh, ingestion methods, uh, our API, our watch folder, our desktop applications. Um, so we'll probably continue down that path in the near term. And where this goes in the, in the longer term, we're not sure yet.